live. Let's go live. And we're live. Just Hello. what I wanted to see. Hi, <laughs> everyone, again. Back with the wonderful Steph. Yay. Steph Loves. Again, channel in the description. So yeah. if you do not know Steph, which I feel like most people will have by now, surely, surely, <laughs> um, then definitely check Steph out. I'm noticing because on the, the side where all the comments come through, it, there's quite a delay on that. So I'm sorry to everyone who, if like there's a comment and it takes ages to come through, I swear it's because of the delay on this. Sorry about that. But hi everyone. So let's go through. Hi. <laughs> hi Jamie. Hi. -er. Hello. Oh, it's me. Hi. Hi Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, happy Friday the 13th. I totally forgot it was Friday the 13th. Oh, I haven't even left this room, so no chance of me hurting myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you say that. Paper cut, maybe. And, oh, wait, you're using the Kindle, right? I am, yeah. Haven't okay. even touched a book today. <laughs> oh, my God. That's all right. Then you make an electric shock still. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jamie doesn't know what he's going to read. I also want to hear what the options are. Let us know. Hi, Emily. Hi, Rebecca. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, Case of the Missing Treasure, Pages and Co. Uh, you Don't Know Everything, Jilly P. Or holes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that comment is very late, so I wonder if he's picked by now. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks, Claire. I also have a beautiful woman with me as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, Pris is back. Pris is back. Of Hello. Course. <laughs> of course she is. Yeah, it's not really a sprint without Pris. Uh, oh, it jumped. Uh, doo -doo. Hi, Natasha. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, Jay, I think Jamie's going for pages and call. Nice. Yeah. Hello, Caitlin. Good evening. Uh, oh, I just finished yoga. How do you how do you do it? How do you do it? Seriously, I you know what? So I don't know about you, Steph, but on YouTube, there are so many like kind of home exercise videos. I'll put them in my watch later with good intentions. I never do it. <laughs> never do it. It'll be easy enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Watch it online, but not actually do it. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, hello, I couldn't do yoga. I'd love to though. I do love yoga to be fair. I used to go to a class, but obviously lockdown kicked in and then that was it. And I probably will never go back. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. Uh, that's me. I used to go to the gym a lot and then just never went back. Uh, oh, happy that you're here again. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> right. Uh, what are we reading for the people who maybe didn't check in on the first live show? Me and Steph are reading the same thing, but I am going to let Steph see what we are reading. <laughs> see if I can get it right this time. We're reading yeah. The Forest of Moon and Sword. I can't remember the name of the author. Amy Raphael. Yes. If that's the right way of saying it. <laughs> um, I'm 36% in so far. I think you're 47 if I'm correct. Yeah, 47%, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm really hoping that I can finish it tonight. It's yeah. quite a quite a quick-ish one. So yeah. I feel like we can do that. So everyone let us know what you guys are reading. Let us know and we would love to to see it. Um, da -da. Oh, that was Star Pinch of Magic, Boy Who Flew, Page and Co. I knew you'd go for that one, Jamie. I just knew it. <laughs> Oh, iced coffee with whipped cream and vanilla. Mm -mm -mm. I did get a purple one <laughs> latte from Costa. I walked all the way down, walked all the way back. It was about 20 minutes there, 21 minute back. Beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, I will be reading Nevermore, The Miracle on the Ebenezer Street, Isadora Moon and Frostheart. Nice. Some fantastic picks there. Absolutely. Uh 100%. Uh, currently reading two books because Laurie is a machine. Uh, Paolo Santiago and the River of Tears. And Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky. I really want to read Tristan Ooh. Strong punches a hole in the sky. I haven't so heard much. Oh, it looks so good. I think it's by Kwame and Balia. And it's a Rick Ryden Presents book as well. Nice. And I'm trying to remember what happens, but I believe, I think the main character, he punches a hole in a tree or something like that, and it rips a hole into the fabric of time. I don't know. Something like that. I might be getting mixed up with another book. I might be getting mixed up with Sal and Gabby. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Snow Queen, Melamanda, or Arusha. Ooh. Snow Queen's such a good one. It's like that's a like a short fairy tale, isn't it? <laughs> so 
you'd be able to, I think you'd probably be able to read that one in the sprint. Um, but I'd, re- I'd see all of them. What would you say, Steph? Yeah, I mean, out of the three, I've only read Malamanda, but I do have Arusha on my TBR for actually for Gilmore Girls Readathon next week. Nice, nice. Yeah. That sounds awesome. I hope you love it. Uh, <laughs> reading, reading Ghost to Ghost, what about Lucy Strange? I love that book. That was so good. That was my first book, probably, the film. And I gave it five stars. I thought it was bro. Very nice. Send the Lake District as well, so it was beautiful. Oh, nice. Oh, Wilder Girls, we have a bit of Frost Heart, Page and Call 3, Frost Heart, Castle Tiger Magic, Winter House 2, uh, A Snicker of Magic. Oh. I've not heard of that one. I've heard of A Pinch of Magic, but not A Snicker of Magic. <laughs> By the way, hi, Victoria. <laughs> um, I say, what did you think of Amari? I'm not going to tell you. You have to wait until the vlog. <laughs> you have to wait till the vlog. I haven't even done my Goodreads reviews or anything, which I really need to do, to be fair. But I haven't. I'm, I, you have to wait for the vlog. <laughs> uh, reading Strange World's Trav Agency and then Words of Radiance Part 2 Oof, that's a hefty one yeah oh Magic Fish it's a graphic novel so whimsical Pris oh. is of course still reading Frost Heart 2 I that's hope you good. finished it in the sprint I really do <laughs> Ghosts of Hellfire Nevermore Pages in Core 3 we've got a few pages in Core yes. Core fans uh, oh a Dutch YA fantasy I need to get a bit into the book so I don't feel guilty starting Frost Heart tomorrow you shouldn't feel guilty it sounds good Sounds good to me. Yeah. Father Wear Emporium by Ross McKenzie. Had to go back and do a skim read of book two as I realised I'd forgotten everything. Do you do that, Steph? Do you end up like getting to like a book in a series and you realise I've kind of forgotten everything that's happened before this? Honestly, because okay, so when I came to book two, this might be. A, I'll try and do this quickly. When I came to book two, I was like super behind on all the hyped books. So I've been kind of catching up on all the hyped series, but now all the new books are coming out and obviously I get like fairy loot and things like that. And you end up with the first book in a series and then I'm waiting for the next one to come out by the time the next one comes out. So this year I've had to reread Aurora Rising because Aurora Burning came out and I've reread Serpent and Dove. I've done so many rereads this year because the next one's come out. And then I'm like, I'm going to end up doing it again next year when the third one comes out. And I do it all the time. It's sometimes, I think with middle grade, actually, I tend to remember what happened. Like I didn't reread Frost Heart before I picked up Frost Heart 2 because I did remember what happened. But on occasion, I do need to... uh, do a cheeky to do a reread. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. And it's heart, it's heartbreaking because you're like, there's so many books that I haven't read for the first time yet. So I need to like get onto them. But also I do want to continue the series and I can't remember what happened. Because a lot of books don't really have like a previously on section there, like at the start. I feel like that would help. Yeah. So I do remember reading uh when I I obviously reread Aurora Rising and then when I got to Aurora Burning, the first chapter is like a previously on aurora rising nice. and i was like oh my god this is brilliant why don't they do this more often like just a yeah. one chapter of what happened in the last book <laughs> yeah exactly i think the pages and call series has done that i think the third one has a previously on bit in i think um but no i'm the ex- i'm the exact, exact same way i'm the same <laughs> way but i'm also still behind on all the hyped books so yeah uh reading the house in poplar woods oh sorry skipped again Pop, uh, Still reading The House in the Poplar Wood. Nice. Uh, Amber Spyglass. I still need to read that one. I was supposed to read that at the start of the year. I'm naughty. Uh, Been in a reading slump, so still reading uh, Green Glass House. Nice. It makes you want all of the hot chocolates. <laughs> uh, Drank the Moon. 100 pages left in Crooked Sixpence. House of Chicken Legs. Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World. While having the lunch. Nice. A good contemporary YA. I'm not YA. Children's book. Yeah, <laughs> things about that one. Mm. Uh, have any of you completed the National Book Tokens treasure hunt thing? I haven't, but I've been seeing that going around Twitter. Um, but I need to do that. Have you done that? No, I haven't even heard of it, to be honest. I, I've seen people do it. I, I'm not too sure what you get out of it. Um, I think you do get National Book Tokens. <laughs> I, I, that's not what I'm assuming. <laughs> but uh, no, I haven't done that. Um, but I feel like I should. I've seen a lot of people do it on Twitter. Oh, cheated on cross country today. Today, terrible, Hannah. Terrible. <laughs> uh, hello, Terry. Um, to do, to do, to. I'll be cooking tea while reading, so no doubt I will be able to get through as much as I want to. Ah, uh, hello, Lexi. Yay, Lexi. <laughs> Yay, Lexi's here, and I've already finished my coffee, Lexi. So <laughs> I mean, it's kind of 
there's it drags at the bottom and it's kind of cold but yum <laughs> yum yum and isn't like aren't there cups from that I'm so cute now i love the christmasy cups that they do now oh, yeah. <laughs> uh completely forgotten everything everything in the nowhere emporium i believe lexi's just finished reading that one oh yeah i think that's the first one um doo -doo -doo. I'm so behind on these comments. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to skip down. Uh, Gavin, this oh bless you. Um, remember the first one. That was I can't believe it's been a year since the first believe a -thon. It's wild. Jeez. That is wild. That is bloody wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone by so quickly though, hasn't it? Yeah, and you took. I think you took like book Twitter and but like book tube by storm as well. Like people were just not. I honestly, I wasn't expecting it to blow up like it did. And it just really blew up. I, I don't know why I believe the founder. I think it was, there was just a vacuum and it needed to be filled. Absolutely. I just like, I think I just, I got a bit lucky with that, with believe the <laughs> Um, But yeah, let's, oh, kidnap on the California Comet. Nice. Signal the Highland Falcon Thief. That is a good mystery. Good mystery. Uh, oh yeah, you get entered into a prize draw for 250 pound book vouchers. Mm -hmm. It looks like a really fun challenge as well. That, that's a good prize. That's a good prize. Oh, and apparently it's super hard as well. Oh yeah <laughs> uh, uh terry's joining with her nine-year-old daughter this time she really enjoy and believe it's on oh hi isla i hope ah. i pronounce it right <laughs> i hope i hope we pronounce it right <laughs> um i hope you're enjoying your book as well uh do, do, do. finish my book soon what do i read next ship of shadows the girl who drank the moon the land of Raw, or the ten villas of the quicksmith mm. Ooh, ten villas of the quicksmith is so good it's kind of like you really have to focus on it though because it's a little bit sciencey and some of it went over my head a little bit. So you have to concentrate on that one. So just for pure escapism and like an easier read, I would probably say Ship of Shadows because I love that one. But also I love all of them to be fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, to do, uh, uh, I'm glad that you're able to um, join in on this one. Um, thank you so much, Lexi. You always have the nicest things to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So should we start reading in a couple of minutes then? I'll share the screen so that we can get ready. Oh, wait, I'm not on it. Two seconds. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. At, yeah, I'm terrible at doing all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what should we do for the first sprint? Should we do 20 minutes again? 30 minutes? 25 minutes? Um, I think 20 minutes is good, isn't it? To ease us in a little bit. Yeah, let's do twenty minutes, uh, and get the get the oils, the oil can. And... <laughs> That's a good shout. Okay, so twenty minutes. We could, I mean, it's not it's not really quite past, but we could just start now. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do it then, guys. Let's uh, do uh, click set again. Yeah, there we go. Yay. <laughs>
and time. <laughs> I still don't know why the sound doesn't go off. <laughs> um, but I am now 62% in. I'm 48% in. <laughs> oh, you where I was when I started. Yep. Uh, let's have a look at some comments. Let us know how you guys did in the comments as well. Uh, uh, let's see, <laughs> Gavin, remember when you used room spray as body? Well, you know, that was only yesterday or the day before. I can't remember now. That wasn't very long ago. So, of course, I remember that. <laughs> Smell, smells lovely, though. Smells lovely. Uh, why, why wouldn't you use it as like body spray as well? I don't know. <laughs> uh, do, 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 ooh, what's this? Top 100 cl horror classic books. Top. What's this in relation to? Is this a video you want Steph to do? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would not be able to do that kind of uh, video. I haven't yeah. read a hundred horror classic books. <laughs> I haven't read one. <laughs> uh, mm, horror classic. Maybe a couple of Stephen King might count. Mm. I don't know what, what what's considered a horror classic these days. Yeah, that's true. Like, would I? I haven't even read it, but would Dracula count? Or maybe, maybe, Frank yeah, King? yeah, maybe. Not even read. I would say so. <laughs> I've only I've read Frankenstein. I haven't read Dracula though. Uh, oh, Molly's here. Hi, Molly. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Uh, Hi, Septimus Snape. Just tuning in. I'm already reading. That's good. Oh, playing a game. Now you're here. Now you have to play the game of reading sprints. <laughs> Hi, Siobhan. Hey. Uh, made fifty percent of the house in Poplar Wood, and so far it's perfect middle grade. Ooh, nice. we might have to read it. 22 pages, almost done with the dishes. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely, jubbly. Thanks for reminding me. I need to do mine as well. Same. Yeah. Uh, that's another day's job. <laughs> uh, 32 pages, 21. Done with the magic fish. I'm going to continue reading The Martian. Ooh. Oh, I love The Martian. Not read it. Oh, <laughs> Not so well. good, Gav. The audio is brilliant. If you do read it, I recommend the yeah. audio. It's fantastic. Okay, I'll get the audio. Do you know if it's on <laughs> script? Um, I don't think it is. No, I had to get mine on Audible. I might be able to send it you though. Have you got Audible? Yeah, yeah. I should be able to send it you. Oh, if you can. I mean, if it's no problem. No, no problem at all. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 46 pages of the Ghost of Gaswater, 14, 83 pages, but Pris started early. She always does. She always has us on mute. So yeah. rude. <laughs> <laughs> but glad you are in the end of Frost Art 2. Uh, just joined the last 10 minutes and managed to read 10 pages of Starfell. Nice. nice. 20 pages, 47%, 35 pages, page 60 of Kidnap on the California Comet. Ooh. 30 pages and a pages in core. Oh, jumped again. Star Griffin Gate as Kykler and got halfway, so it's 56 pages. Great book by Vashti Hardy. Nice. Uh, read for the last 10 minutes and managed 12 pages. How to use a sprint to finish cleaning. You know what? I'm going to start going into reading sprints, um, like watching other people's reading sprints and doing other things during them. Because sometimes I think, oh, I have to read during this reading sprint. You don't actually have to. You can do anything you want. Anything you want. Yep. That's what I'm going to do the next time. 40 pages of Strange Worlds. Great novel. Um, <laughs> all I could hear was my cat snoring the whole time. <laughs> Sounds cute, though. Good, good. That's good ambience, isn't it? Like good ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-seven, twelve, only fifty minutes after the audiobook. About two hundred pages into Nevermore. Eight yeah. pages of Frostheart. Thirteen pages of Nevermore. One chapter of Frostheart. Fifty pages of Ebenezer. And twenty pages of Isadora Moon. Nice. nice. The whole family's doing so well. <laughs> Twenty-five more pages in Paul, uh, Paula, Santiago, and the River of Tears. Uh, I'm going to quickly go to you. You get that food. Uh, chapter of Wondersmith and Isla is reading a series of unfortunate events. Nice. nice. I still need to read the last three books in that series. Oops. I've never read it before, but I'm interested. Mm. Fair. Oh, <laughs> well, 60% is Snow Queen, so I'm glad you went for Snow Queen. That's quite, yeah, you're going to end up finishing this and then you're going to have to start a new book by the end of these sprints. It's just going to have to happen. I uh, read 23 pages, more than you've read in days. That's good. She was struggling this afternoon and I messaged her on Instagram. I was like, girl, we're hosting sprints. Come and check us out. <laughs> yes, it really does help. It helps encourage you to read or do whatever you need to do. Be productive. Put down your phone for a bit, you know. 
Um, what are you two reading? Just in case you missed at the start, we are reading The Forest of Moon and Sword by Amy Raphael, set in the 1600s, Witch Trials, uh, main character has to save her mum. That's a short version of it. Yes. <laughs> uh, halfway through Nevermore, 31 pages of The Secrets of Winter House. Really want to read that one. Um, Steph, can you do that on Audible? That's so cool. I didn't know you could send books. Ooh. Yeah, so to you can just do it only one time to a person. So I could send The Martian out to several different people, but I can only send you one book for free uh, once, if that makes sense. Ah, okay. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> when I just thought doing that, actually, I didn't realise you could actually, like, gift a lot. Yeah. Uh, oh, only 80 pages left for us or two. It's quite sad now. Yeah. Yeah, wait. We know. We know. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. Uh, pages and Core is amazing so far. Kind of addicted. Won the rest of the series. It's quite an addicting. Oh, hang on. I can. There we go. It is kind of a bit of an addicting um, series. That one. It's just so nice and easy to get into, and you just like submerse into that world, and you just continue on. So good. So good. Oh, um, her cat Snow is more of a hunk than anything. Ambient. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> Love having a cheese and bacon puff. Nice. That's cannibalism to me. Thirty-four <laughs> uh, percent into Cemetery Boys. Oh, I really need to read that book. I need to get it as well. That's a bit of a harder one to get hold of. It is. I noticed that the other day. It's disappeared from everywhere. I checked yeah. everywhere. I just cannot get hold of it. I think people said you can still get it from Book Depository, but that was like a couple of weeks back now, so maybe not anymore. Yeah. I need, to, I need to get on to that. Um, <laughs> so glad for the sprints. Uh, yeah, it's been nice for me as well, just to kind of see another face as well, you know, and talking to people and just, it helps. I it think it helps a lot. It's can it. Yeah, 100%. Um, love Cemetery Boys so far, uh, so much even. That's good. Like, I know uh, Molly's doing a, a book club for that tomorrow. So if you've read it, you should check that out. Um, I haven't read it yet, so I can't check it out. Yeah, but I know though that the audio is on script. It's just that I really want a physical uh, copy because the book looks gorgeous. It does, doesn't it? It's like a yeah. hardback. Yeah, and usually I'm not like I I don't really care that much if it's paperback or hardback, but that one it's like I kind of want the hardback because it looks yes. quite beautiful. It looks quite beautiful. Um, yes, oh, I'm glad you finished your dishes. We still haven't. So, yeah i was also saying a step before we started as well it might be a knock at the door because i'm waiting for my fairy loot box it still might come today it might not but i did get a, an email from Hermes or hermes or however you pronounce it and it might come during the sprint so if it does <laughs> ignore that please <laughs> um i work nights and finding it hard to read these sprints help motivate me to read before my shift starts tonight oh i hope you have a good shift me too yeah, I wish you could have, you know, sat back, relaxed, and just put your feet up, all that. But you're doing, you're doing good. You're doing good. I'm um, gonna start the house and the students say after frost heart. You know, it's not middle grade, but it's middle grade for adults. So I'm gonna count it anyways. Yeah, I think that has a good chance of being the next read rate review book as well. So I, I don't know if it is yet, but that's one of the nominations. So. I really want to read that one as well. That book looks so good. I, In fact, I think Lexi's might have uh, read that one. I'm sure it was Lexi who said it was like middle grade for adults. Yeah, um, she has, yeah. I've got yeah. it on yeah, for Gilmore Girls again next week. So um, <laughs> I got about 48 pages into it last week, but just ended up putting it down, you know, for Thousand Doors Readathon. Oh, yes. But oh, my gosh, yeah. Long. That is all month long as well, isn't it? But I feel like a lot of people have already finished it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it again. So basically, Brit's doing 24 hour readathon, isn't she, next yeah. Saturday? And I think yeah. I might try and do like a smasher thousand doors readathon into 24. Wow. Hours. <laughs> That's such a good idea. That's See such a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I say I did it in the like in the first week, um, but like very loosely. So I could like try and fit it with Believeathon and stuff. And then I just scrapped that entire blog, didn't I? So I might have to do it again as well. But as you said, doing Gilmore Girls next week. So, yeah, it's like, I don't know. I might join you in doing it for the entire day. I feel like that would be quite fun. Um, ooh. Um, Tamar's copy of Cemetery Boys is slightly faulty with random lines through a few pages. Ooh. 
That's strange. It's a bit like hollow pox, how that the print narrows of that one. I've started it and um I just I, I'm listening to it on audio anyway because I really enjoy the audio of Jessica Townsend's books, the narrators. She's fantastic. She's so good. Um, but I, the first two chapters, it was just throwing me off constantly because I just couldn't follow along with the book at all. It's such yeah. a shame. I just don't know how it's managed to get from, you know, the publishers to yeah. Jessica. She signed them all and then to Waterstones with like nobody along the way has checked him. Yeah. Um, I think with Jessica, I think they just sent her the first page. You know, like the page to sign so like she did all that but then when they've sent it to the publisher to like bind it into the book how did all of them how did all of them the exact same mistake in all of them and it wasn't even just the star but at the end as well there's pages missing from the end and yeah. you know that and i i know um becca from becca in the book she read it recently she had a friend take photos of her standard edition like chapter one and then the last chapter so she read chapter one on her phone from the screenshots, then she read all the rest of it, and then read the last chapter from the screenshots as well. <laughs> and I just find that like I find it hilarious. Um, but yeah, I yeah that was funny. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the hollow pox box from Alcray Junior. Um, so I'll I'll be able to like have that edition if I ever want to reread it. I'll at least have that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, Siobhan still on second book for Thousand Doors Readathon. Nice. Nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> and Riss is on prompt three of the Thousand Doors Readathon. Yes. Honestly, it's such a brilliant idea, that readathon. I love it. I hope they do another one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And I kind of hope they keep the prompts up, like just leave them up, you know, the videos. Because I kind of feel mm -hmm. like it's something I might think like in January, oh, do you know what? I'll just do it for randomness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I 100% agree. And then they can like change it up every like few months. like. Yeah, like they could. I know, like doing a readathon is like a lot of effort, and I believe me, I know. Uh, <laughs> but if they like do it like every now and then, and it can just be like a little thing, and I, I don't know, <laughs> it, it might be hard to to keep that up, I guess. But it would be good. I think you're right. You could do it anytime you wanted. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts on the rest of Mid Most and Lady Like books you have read? <laughs> uh, you're just looking for drama, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I, I've been enjoying them. Uh, first book, very rocky, but I have been enjoying the rest of the uh, Mid Most and Lady Like books. But I've only read the first five at this point. Um, and I've heard like the last book is, it makes a lot of people cry. And it's really good, the last book. So that's good. You just have to really get through the first book if you can. Um, but yeah. Oh, um, I yeah, I've just uploaded a video. Like, I had it all edited and ready to go, but I uh, convinced you to purchase the book, Jaws. I don't know how, because I haven't read it yet, so I wasn't recommending it. I was saying how much I'm scared of the movie, Jaws, and I'm scared of reading the book. So if that convinced you to read the book, then great. <laughs> <laughs> if you read it before I do, let me know if it's good. <laughs> uh, did she, oh, also love the idea I've done in 24 hours. Steph, you're just genius. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I do try. <laughs> you don't need to try very hard. It just comes naturally. <laughs> uh, Holopox box, Gav. I need to check my tracking. I need to check my tracking as well. It got shipped, I think, last week now. And, but the worms are coming. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, finished all five prompts for 1,000 doors. Excellent. You can just start again. <laughs> uh, da -da. Oh, yeah. Mini Polathon in February. Wait, we'll start reading in three minutes. Um, but yeah, mini polathon in. Well, actually, no. There's a mini polathon next month, and then there's a normal polathon in February. Um, there's the weekend retreat. I think the December sixth to the eighth. Uh, fourth to the sixth, Gav. It's my birthday to the sixth. <laughs> there we go. And you're a much bigger fan of Jade than I am, I guess. So <laughs> <laughs> it's only because it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's a good. Like, uh, you'll be able to make a proper. Um, weekend of it, yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Oh, happy early birthday as well. Thanks. Like, you'll, you'll, you'll pop it on Twitter anyway, so I'll, I'll say happy birthday then too. Yeah. Uh, to do um. All oh, right, so we'll we'll wait until the next after the next sprint, and then we'll talk about <laughs> Harry Potter. Uh, because I feel like two minutes isn't like enough time to talk mm. about it. I guess. Yeah. Remind us again for the next after the next sprint, please. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, yeah a lot of people want our thoughts on harry potter for sure well yeah suspense suspense 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, two polathons. So yeah, mini one and then normal one. But say in the normal one, the normal one's only a week anyway. So I mean, we could always do a month long polathon, but I, I don't think Jade would ever do that. So no, I'm thinking no. about. We were talking about the amber spyglass before, weren't we? And I think I might read that for the one in February, for the week long one. Yeah. yeah, that's a good show. That's also one that I feel like I would have to reread the first ones, though. Yeah, I, I remember one hundred percent what happened in Northern Lights, but not one hundred percent what happened in the Subtle Knife. So yeah, yeah, same, same. Northern Lights is like, it stands out, and I really enjoyed the Northern Lights. Subtle Knife, not so much. I yeah. did think it was so good, but just not as good as Northern Lights. I can barely remember anything. I just remember them being in a, a town or something, and it's quiet or something, and they meet a, a woman. That's all I remember. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I remember. Oh, I may have to, I may have to, um, like watch the TV show as well. I watched the first few episodes of season one. I want to watch watch the TV show? Mm. Um, um, oh, thanks, uh, Lauren, as well. Thank you. Um, again, pop, popcorn ready for all that. Day. I don't think it's going to be that much tea. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, sorry to hear that you left BookTube because of Harry Potter. That's that's a shame. Oh, um, nice. yeah. Watching the TV series instead of reading the book. If you want to do that, you absolutely should. Um, yeah, I mean, I could try rereading it, but I'm not. I don't reread books that often. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's share the screen again and read for thirty minutes this time, like we did the last time. So let's try and go back. And clear the tea. Oh wait, no, that's three hours. Oops, <laughs> we're not reading for three hours. <laughs> I wouldn't. Be, I don't think I'd be able to stay awake for all that time. Gosh. <laughs> right, thirty minutes starting now. Cool. And also, yes, Steph, we do. We do need to book a day to read another night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
And um, I will find out why it isn't doing that noise. <laughs> I'm not sure why it doesn't. <laughs> ah, look, look, look. Oh, I'll take that off. Look, look. <laughs> oh, Pris. Pris. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you finished it. Also, yeah, it's infuriating at the end. Of course it is, because why are we waiting until the next one? <laughs> oh. oh, but Claire also finished her book as well. Nice. That's good. Yeah. Um, oh, Katie reads, I just finished Addie LaRue. It broke me. I just, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> That's such high praise. I've got two copies of it now as well because of uh, Illumicrate. And then I had it pre-ordered anyway from Waterstone. So uh, it better be a good one for me. <laughs> <laughs> so good. The Illumicrate edition is gorgeous as well. That box looked beautiful. Oh, Tom. Yeah, it is absolutely stunning. Oh, so I just love anything with like, sprayed edges that sparkle. Mm -hmm. oh, I Same. don't have a lot of them, but... A lot of book boxes do that. So, like, I know Fairy Loot has had a few with, like, blue sparkly pages. Yeah. Mm. Chef's kiss. <laughs> uh, ooh. Uh, read 24 pages in this Dutch way. Fantasy book and since I'm starting it because of a DNF halfway through, I'm getting it a bit better. Ah. So, yeah. DNF to before getting back into it. Second chance book. Yeah. So, uh, how, did, uh, how did you do on that sprint there, Steph? I got to 68% actually on that one. Nice, nice. Right. Uh, 83%. I, I really want to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm finding it okay. It's not like the best I've ever read. I'm just finding it okay. Yeah, really. I feel like little bits of it. I don't know. I just feel like what's happened is it was a longer book and then in editing mm. they've chopped loads of it out but then not re, re gone, gone back through and done another edit of it. You know, like I just feel like there's bits missing out of it, like chunks of yeah. apparently part way through a conversation or something and i'm like oh that was abruptly ended fair enough yeah no i i think you're right i well i don't know if that's what happened but it seems that way yeah bit. it seems like there is a lot missing i uh, spend the time making fresh guacamole nice Freaking nice nice <laughs> uh finish goes a health fair carrying on with the midnight guardians excellent love it love it page 89 simply made i just happened to kidnap on the california comic 38 pages uh to do read 46 pages uh read 18 pages good one Alison. <laughs> press i need a third book where is it it's just <laughs> done a draft of it this morning jamie little i tweeted this morning about completing the first draft of it or like a, a various draft of it um so we want it soon 33 more pages of a pinch of magic and going to read a little longer so then i've read 50 pages and have reached page 200 Nice. No problem. Or forty-seven twenty-one. Press can't even type. <laughs> <laughs> uh, read it. Read again for the last ten minutes. Read ten pages. Oh, just start where the mountain meets the moon. Sixty <sighs> pages in. Such a quick sprint. Such a quick read. It is. It is a quick read. It's gorgeous. It's such a. Oh, I love that book so much. Love it. Um, finished Snow Queen. Update a good reads and listen to my husband teaching American history. Nice. Nice. Productive. 54 pages of Cross by James Patterson, another 60 pages of A Strange Wells. Made lunch this round, but we'll be reading the next one. Awesome. I think we'll probably do another 20 ish minutes in the next yeah. one. Um, oh, gosh. I, and you made me so hungry now, Alexi. As well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat something now. Uh, uh, 15 pages that had a Zoom prayer meeting halfway through. Uh, three chapters of Frost Hall, 20 pages of Nevermore, 84 pages of Ebenezer, and 20 pages of Isadora. Nice. Uh, I need to read Frost or two now. I have other clothes there. 56 pages during the sprint in a castle town called Magic. Excellent. Yes, you do need to read Frost or two. ASAP, Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> 24 <laughs> pages down, 69%. Chris's heart is still racing. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I always get so happy when people really love the book that they've read. Oh, the, nothing beats that feeling. 36 pages of Frost Talk on page 290. Uh, I love read 22 pages. Let's read the Thunder Zoom Wonders for your reading. Oh, I'm oh, so glad. God. Fifth book of I believe it's on. That's amazing. Fifth book in three days. That's incredible. Uh, five stars for Frost Heart 2. I'm so glad. Yeah. That's made me, that has made me happy. That's made me so happy. Um, so we 
And there have been a couple of comments about Harry Potter. <laughs> Just spotted those. <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd gotten away from it, but um, an autistic reader, um, HP helped me through a lot of stuff growing up, no matter what the author says does. She can't take that away from me. I, I won't look into her newer books though. Yeah, I think she has just released um, The Ichabog, which is a new a new book. Mm -hmm. I think that just come out. And uh, there was another comment. Uh, oh, I think it's the same. Yeah, I think it's the same person. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's the same comment. Um, I did say it, but then there was another one. Uh, yeah, Harry Potter just makes me not feel happy because I'm not LGBTQ plus myself. Even though I have loved Harry Potter, I cannot really remove the writer from the work. Um, yeah, it's like, yeah, so same with me. Like when I was younger, Harry Potter was like my entire life. So it was like really hard, um, like not to ever go almost a day without at least thinking about Harry Potter, you know, for like most of my growing up. So when all of the stuff started happening with JK Rowling, um, I mean, I know there were some things last year that happened, I think with something about um, someone getting fired um for being transphobic i think and jk Rowling ended up saying like hashtag i stand with maya and uh so she was um agreeing with the person who got fired or something like that i can't remember the whole story with that but that was i i, I still can't wrap my head around it now but it wasn't until obviously the things this year um about her stance with trans pe uh, people like trans women more specifically she's targeted mostly um obviously i don't agree with it at all i genuinely it's made me feel so like awful about like her as a person um i know she does a lot of good stuff as well with like charity work and all of that but it's like i, it, I can't really praise her anymore because of the things she's been saying and now i i have on hold um the new editions of harry Potter books that i had i didn't like get rid of my original editions because like some of them were gifted to me by family members who aren't here anymore. So it's like, I would feel awful giving up those memories of, of those books. Um, I don't think I would ever, re I don't have to reread the books, you know? Um, and I won't be talking about Harry Potter on my channel anymore. It's like, I don't really need to, and I don't really want to give JK Rowling any more spotlight or anything. Um, so my unhaul video is probably the last time I'll ever speak about Harry Potter on my channel um so yeah i oh just quick say hello to meg as well hi meg hello, we've been meg. we've been talking so much about the thousand doors readathon today as well you've missed yeah. all that all that chat we're now talking about harry potter <laughs> 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 um i don't know if you feel the same way about that stuff or yeah um i think from my side of things i don't stand with her at all and i completely disagree with what she's been saying completely like i stand with trans people 100 percent um and support them but i for me i only got into harry potter like a year ago 18 months ago so i hadn't even seen the movies i'd never read the books i completely missed the harry potter train when i was a kid so <laughs> the pun um so <laughs> i <laughs> So I just completely missed it. So it's very new for me, but I did 100% throw my entire being into the Harry Potter world and just mm -hmm. came com became completely obsessed with it. Like my 30th was last year. The majority of my presents were Harry Potter based. I've got like several Gryffindor jumpers, things like that. And it's just, it's a very, very, it leaves such a sour taste in your mouth. I have rearranged my shelves and taken all my Harry Potter books off. I've unhauled the majority. I'm keeping my illustrated editions and my scholastic ones because I've been collecting them for a while, but they're coming off my shelves. I'm going to find somewhere else to put them. I just don't want to have them on display on Instagram or anything like that and in my videos. And I think it's just really sad because I have like four or five Gryffindor jumpers and they're dead cozy and I just like wearing them but I'm so I'm on film so much because I do weekly vlog all the time and I don't want them in my videos things like that and I just it's just little things like that and I just think she's really really damaged a very very important part of the community and I just I don't know I just think it's awful what she's been doing and I just I can't support somebody like that anymore so I won't be buying anything um that would support her from now on i don't think that necessarily i don't know i still i probably would reread the books in the future but i wouldn't 
do it on my, yeah I wouldn't talk about it on my channel and stuff and I have I think since bought a couple of things that might have been Harry Potter based but it's from a small business so it goes nowhere near her she who shall not be named it's for a small business so supporting them but again I won't you know like take pictures of my books or anything on Instagram things like that I just don't promote it anymore it's just awful what she's been doing and I just think it's really sad for as well like the, those of you that have grown up with it and it's been such a big part of your life and it's really impacted your life I just my heart goes out to you 100% because I just can't imagine how it must feel yeah yeah and there I totally agree with you as well um and I and I wouldn't be like buying new stuff like if I did ever get anything it would be from a small business and I wouldn't give JK all of my money now she doesn't need it and I don't think all of this has impacted her whatsoever. Yeah. I don't think she'll ever, you know, reap the the consequences of this. Um, sorry, there's been a few comments now. Yeah. Um, oh, like poor Pris as well. Like she was like obsessed. Um, yeah, Harry Potter has saved a lot of people's lives, like through the years. And um, yeah, you can say I feel I if you want to still enjoy Harry Potter, like by watching the movies, reading the books, then like I'm not going to judge anybody for doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so and it's a really hard one because I, I don't support anybody who is transphobic, who's racist, who's homophobic, anything like that. Um, but I I know it's it's tearing a part of you out as well. Because yeah, when I say my childhood was all Harry Potter, it was all Harry Potter. I probably realized I was gay through Harry Potter. You know what I mean? It's like all of these like little life moments you kind I can kind of associate with Harry Potter as well. And uh, there was a really good comment um, about the community. Oh, yeah, from Victoria. Um, to say that what I loved wasn't the books, but the community. So many fanfic authors wrote better. <laughs> More inclusive stories, of parodies, the midnight releases, the theories was the fans, not the author. Yeah, I went to a few midnight releases and it was, uh, the atmosphere was just fantastic. And it was just like the, the fact that so many people were so excited to read a book. And that was what was really the, the greatest thing, I think, that came from that is the fact that that yeah the community and um i think uh tamar said as well about uh jay book roast oh like the magical readathon is was one of the like biggest ones on on the internet and it really joined a lot of booktubers together and it was something that we all really enjoy taking part in and it was some of my favorite times of the year and i actually joined booktube when the owls was happening last year so i owe a lot to that and yeah it's just it's it yeah oh my god it's so hard <laughs> like you know what i mean it's yeah and i'm with pris like i'll never forgive her for even if she like said even if she backtracked and said you know what i agree with you guys like trans women are women trans men are men non-binary lives um are valid you know things like that if she came out with that now i'm open to you know giving people another chance but i would never forget no. and i don't think i could 100 percent forgive because like the amount of damage it's done to a lot of people you know, online, and I've seen like people really crumble because of it. Yeah, it's just yeah. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe's statement as well, like the actors from the movies, which is why I, I'm not like hating on the movies or anything in the minute because I feel like that was there was a huge crew behind that, there was a huge cast behind that. It wasn't all J.K. Rowling, um, and the cast members have come out and said trans women are women as well and all that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's so hard. It's so hard to talk about, really. Um, but Siobhan, Harry Potter was what made me realise that I can be a reader despite having dyslexia. Yeah, it's like, it has inspired a lot of people. It, it, it really has. And it's brought a lot of people out of their shells and realising that they um, can, yeah, I, I don't know, it's like the whole literary side of it. I'm sure there were a lot of kids who uh, learned to read through Harry Potter as well. And just all of that. It's, yeah yeah it's such a shame really because i just think it's it's gone for quite a few years now as well wasn't it 1998 the first one when it was released and i just think over the years like it's still so big now and i just mm. feel like she's destroyed a massive world for a lot of upcoming kids like i would have i would love to read harry potter to my nephew do you know what i mean but at the same time i don't want to sort of bring him into that world and then have to say to him but you know she's awful she's a horrible person yeah. and the person that birthed this entire amazing world 
is yeah. a terrible, terrible person. My apologies for destroying <laughs> um, that for you. But I just hate to do that to him. And I just think she's destroyed. I think she's just destroyed it for a lot of upcoming kids that could really, really love this world and learn a lot from it. And I don't know. Yeah. She's not, or like you say, she's not destroyed anything for herself. It's not going to be damning to her, but she's done it for everybody else, not just, you know, trans people, but it's destroyed yeah. a lot of other people's lives as well who have grown up with Harry Potter or, you know, have got kids maybe halfway through reading the series or something or whatever. You know, it's just, it spans a lot of generations, doesn't it? That's the thing. It does. And as you've said as well, it still sells really well. So a lot of bookshops, like even independent bookshops, like a lot of the income is for, through the Harry Potter books. Um, it's through Harry Potter merchandise. It's a lot of bookshops probably would have went under years ago if it hadn't been for Harry Potter as well. Yeah. Like that's the thing is it just, oh God, it's, oh, <laughs> it's hard. It's like, it's really hard. Um, so uh, yeah, a lot of people have found the second family through like the magical readathon through, through Harry Potter. So like I wouldn't ever want to lose that community, that sense of community or anything from that. Um, but yeah, um, I don't like I, I don't judge anybody who still loves Harry Potter. Um, told me because yeah, still want to collect Harry Potter items, but don't want to support her. I I'm I I'm in the mind. I'm not judging anyone, and I yeah I I can't <laughs> anyway. I I literally I, I'm not the kind of person who judges people. Um, but yeah, it's, it's such a hard one. It's such a hard one. If you still want to buy the merch, if you, where you can try and support small businesses, cause not yeah. a penny of it goes to her, it's for the small business. So where you can like 100% like support small businesses and buy your merch from there. That's the only way I'm doing it these days. I'm not going to be buying it from places that are, you know, like actually are going to be affiliated with her or anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good show. Uh, especially since yeah a lot of streets in edinburgh have a, a few shops really dedicated are. so um yeah the thing is not about now whether it's loving or hating harry potter but about supporting jk rowling yeah because yeah. i can't like the books i already have the love i already have for harry potter it's like that's not benefiting jk rowling now um and like i, I can't just like take that away and like the books i own now it's i'm not yeah i don't know it's hard, it's hard this is the thing isn't it you've already got them so it's yeah. too late now to start saying well you know like I, you've already the money's already been spent on them so if you keep them it's your decision at the end of the day like i've decided to get rid of one set of mine because i already had like several sets so i'm getting rid of one set of mine but keeping the other two on the basis that some of them were gifted and i have bought some of them myself like the illustrated ones are quite expensive so i'm willing to sort of keep those and they are beautiful don't get me wrong like they are beautiful so i am willing to keep those but similarly the money's already been spent it's i've not spent this money since all this happened like the money's been spent yeah. so there's not what I can do about it now so yeah. um but obviously from this point forward well since everything that happened forward I haven't spent any money on anything that would go towards her so yeah fair enough um so we will move on about this because yeah it might upset some people so sorry about that press um we will yeah we'll get back into reading for like 10 ish minutes yeah and then just to end on that note <laughs> <laughs> if we can all get back into our current reads because hopefully the people we are reading the authors we are supporting right now are fantastic they are not transphobic they are not homophobic they are not racist they are not ableist none of that they we are only supporting the good ones now yes um, and wh when we do find authors like that we don't support yeah. so yeah let, let's read for 10 and uh, just because it is like 22 now and let's see open this share i i know it's like a little bit of a less time but that's fine i guess um so yeah 10 minutes guys if you can just to cleanse ourselves of this talk <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, uh, that's a 10 minutes done. Now on 90%, so not too far from the end. Oh, yeah, I got to 74%. Oh, we are so close, man. <laughs> so close. Uh, there we go, back to normal. Uh, how did everyone else do in that last sprint? I hope you guys did well. Uh, let, let us know how you got on. Um, oh, good night, Louise. I didn't see you go. Good night. Uh, do. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, as soon as I think this is over, um, I'll probably just end up finishing. <laughs> probably only take us a few minutes. It says time left in book 13 minutes. Nice. Yeah, and I ended up having to take my um, headphones out because they died. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, Frost Heart has been continued. 10, 16, 16 pages, just 20 left of my book. Uh, oh, uh, Tamar made a few cuts into the video footage. Um, <laughs> that happens too. I always have just random silences and uh, <laughs> random babbles in my videos as well. Uh, 12, 11, five pages, fair. I mean, it was only a 10 minute sprint, so uh, 17 pages. Uh, oh, bless you, Hannah. Bless you. Uh, we're okay now. Uh, 43 pages return to row, 20 pages of Frost Heart, and the first 23 pages of Frost Heart 2. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I was so glad. Uh, <laughs> and two. Uh, Gavin Steph, do you like your book so far? It's been, it's been good, but I yeah. think it, it feels like there's something missing. Yeah, I think it could be it could be a bit more. I don't know, maybe whimsy or a bit more magical. I don't know. Yeah, I don't just, know what it is. There's just something, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it's hard <laughs> to put my finger on, but it is missing. Like it has like the kind of adventure aspect of it a little bit, and I'm liking the time setting of it. But it's just I don't know. It's yeah, it, it's it's good. I might end up giving it like three point five, maybe. Yeah, we'll see how it ends. Uh, 10 pages, 10 more pages of Nevermore. Ebenezer has been finished. Yay. Five more pages of Isadora Moon. Nice. Oh, yeah, I love it when people get four more from reading Frost Farm. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Gavin, Steph, for making time for us and for everyone who's printed. Uh, oh, bless you. Oh, bless. And, yeah, we are here for you, 100%. Oh. We, we loved reading with you, Tanya. Yes, definitely. Uh, just went out for 10 minutes, fair. <laughs> uh, reached page 300 of Winter House, 18 pages of Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. Nice. Uh, yay. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, what? Frost Hot is $123 in your country. What? That's crazy. That's terrible. No, I, I wouldn't pay that much for a book. <laughs> I love Frost Hot, but I wouldn't pay that much for it. <laughs> no. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, two pages have just popped, joined in. Ah, oh, uh, hope there'll be like more during the month and things, so don't worry uh, about that. Um, oh, bless you! Yeah, you guys are so welcome for the sprint. <laughs> we had fun as well, both Definitely. me and yeah, both me and uh, Sophie, uh, Sophie, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> name change. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed my name as well. I'm I'm Gary. <laughs> Sophie. Uh, oh my gosh from brazil that's that's where it's good that's terrible. yeah Whew. and i'm glad it's helped you through your tbr to be fair the sprints have helped me with the tbr as well not just on like youtube and things but um doing them on my like, twitter and discord it's just been yeah it's been helpful definitely helpful yeah, I found the same thing. I know that um, Connor and Brooke have been hosting some for Galliathon, and they've been, they just, oh. it really does help keep you concentrated and like staying on your book and not checking your phone and stuff. And even, you know, like the reading videos as well, you know, like um, I know Ashley's done one recently, and Jade's got a couple. I've got like a an entire playlist full of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm going to have to do like a normal, proper one at some point. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, everyone who uh, tuned in. Um, we are that's that's the end of them for today. Uh, I think I'm yeah. I think me and Molly are doing one tomorrow at 10 p.m. UK time. Um, it's my mum's 50th tomorrow, and Molly also has um, a book club. So do check out Molly's book club as well. Mm -hmm. 
So that's it for tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I'm doing an interview with Ross Montgomery. So I probably won't be doing sprints then. Next week, we will see what we are working with. But thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Hope you all have a great, great night. And yeah, bye, everyone. <laughs> bye. Bye. And thanks, Steph, again for joining me as oh, well. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs>